So today what we're going to be doing is preparing this vehicle for wading. We're going to be fitting a raised air intake, uh, a snorkel if you will. The wading kit is essentially extensions for the breather pipes which are going to run up to the top of the vehicle as well and then we're going to fit a wading blanket over the radiator to assist with the bow wave and to prevent water entering the vehicle. So the first thing we're going to do is fit the raised air intake here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take off the side air intake cover and the blanking cover on the top of the wing. This gives us really good access into the area where the existing pipe work is. So, as you can see here, this is the flexible pipe that leads back onto the air filter. And we're just going to unscrew from the outside the air intake, which just slides out. That's then removed from the tube that's in there and we take that out and we're going to be using the flexible pipe again. Next thing we do is mask off our mounting holes, which we mark with a felt tip pen, and take that off just to allow us to get perfect alignment. Centre punching the holes is a good idea before you start drilling. We're using a 12mm drill bit here, and then moving on to the 16mm drill bit that you need, making sure there's a nice, clean hole. Just checking all the holes are in position, that's fine, that looks good. So we then take our snorkel, as I said we're using a safari snorkel here which comes with all the hardware you need. We're going to be fixing the stainless steel bolts into the snorkel using this twin nut system. Now the top nut actually locks up against the lower nut, that works against it so that we can then tighten the top nut and it will tighten the bolt into the unit and then we just unlock it and remove those two bolts. Then we're going to be using those bolts later as well. Now here we're just going to be offering up the snorkel so we're just going to fit all the mounting plates loosely onto the snorkel fitting the foam gasket and to just actually get the snorkel onto the vehicle first we're not going to use the nylon nuts, we're going to use standard nuts so that we can offer the snorkel up, get that in position and fix it securely. We're then going to position the snorkel where we want it so that the mounting bracket on the window frame is central and we mark this with a pen and again we're going to centre punch those holes and drill it once we've removed the internal trim from the vehicle and moved any wires out of the way for when we're drilling. So centre punching the holes and we then drill them out using a 3.5mm drill bit. So once you've drilled these holes you then need to use the self-tapping screws and use one on each hole, a new one on each hole so they're nice and sharp and do this before you actually mount the snorkel on there finally. Once everything's been positioned, it's ready now to be silicon. Now we're using silicon to actually fix the foam gaskets onto the snorkel. This prevents them moving and adds an additional seal. So we do this on the window bracket mount and also the lower area of the snorkel where it mounts onto the wing. And then we push the foam gasket over the top and just press it down firmly to make sure that the silicon spreads and it gets nicely stuck down. We do the same again on top of the bracket So once we've got the silicon on there, we're going to be mounting it onto the vehicle finally. So we do this using those non nylock nuts initially to get it in place and then using the nylock nuts to tighten it down firmly and securely. We use the self-tapping screws again on the window frame that we've pre-threaded, screw those in tight and that is the snorkel in position so we're just checking for any gaps. So once we're happy with the positioning of everything, we're going to move on to the pipework and the first thing we do is we need to install the steel joiner into the flexible hose and we're using the existing clips on these, making sure that it's got good clearance of the steering UJ, passing it up underneath through where it's going to make a connection to the snorkel using the plastic flexible hose supplied in the kit. Now we're actually going to put washing up liquid in here to allow us to slide it onto the joints easily. So pass it through and offer it up to make sure that it's at the right angle. Move the flexible duct in and using the hose clamps 
we want to get that positioned over the steel joiner. So put your clamps on before you uh, insert, insert the steel joiner. That should slide in nice and easy. Now we've got it uh, lubed up with some washing up liquid. Position the air entry hose onto the snout of the snorkel as it protrudes through the wing, making sure that it's inserted fully and the clamp is clamping around that snout. And then all that's left to do is to fit the air ram onto the top of the snorkel, tightening up with the clamp and then refitting the blanking panel on top of the wing. It should be very securely fitted onto the vehicle and that's the first part of your wading kit fitted. So now, slightly easier operation here, we're going to be simply fitting the wading blanket onto the front of the vehicle over the radiator. All you need to do to do this is you just remove the screws on the slam panel. There's four screws and they simply pass through the fixtures on the straps with a washer underneath and it mounts directly over the grill. Now the great thing about this is it comes with elasticated straps so you can attach it in the best way that suits your vehicle and simply presses it against the grill. And it can be rolled up out of the way when you're not wading uh, and then quite easily drop down when you're uh, going to be wading. So next we're going to be fitting the Mantec breather kit. These ones are extensions and they're going to be purely for the gearbox and transfer box whereas these ones are longer and they're for the front and rear axles. So first thing to do is locate your breather pipe on the vehicle already and these are released by pushing down on the washer and the hose and pulling out. Make sure that your ends are very cleanly cut and not blocked and when we're going to be passing these breather pipes through the vehicle for the best possible routing and location, we cover the ends with tape to make sure no dirt gets in there. So simply to install your new breather pipe, push in and pull up to make sure it's securely in there. Follow the existing route of your old breather pipe. We've actually decided to pass the rear breather pipe up into the hood stick. If you've got a hard top, you'd simply follow the routing through the wiring loom into the rear light cluster and then inside the, the trim of the vehicle up to the point which you require. We're taking it right up to the top where the bolt fixes onto the upper hood stick. When you're routing the breather pipes through, always make sure that you're allowing enough slack for any articulation in the vehicle when it's off-road. So we're now going to move on to the gearbox and transfer box breather pipes. They're made out of the same material that the ones we're fitting and they have walking stick shaped hoops on the top. Now once you've located these, you want to cut the tops off just below the hoop where it curves over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a hairdryer or a paint stripping gun on a very low setting just to heat up the tip of that hose so that it becomes pliable and is easier for us to insert into the hose connector on the extended breather pipes as seen here. We do the same with the other breather pipe because these two are together and we pass both of them along the back of the bulkhead and we're going to be running them underneath the bonnet gutter at the back of the bulkhead. We pass them underneath over the top of the wing and around the back of the air intake. So we do the same for the front axle. Follow the existing breather pipe routing and make sure you cable tie it securely and pass it up the back of the bulkhead up to the top through to the location in the corner where you've got the breather pipes located already. Again, making sure that you've got enough slack in the breather pipe for any articulation and it's not going to get trapped and do securely cable tie it underneath the vehicle. Making sure that everything's together, we pass the cables down and we want to make sure that when the bonnet's closed, none of the pipes are crushed or damaged. So we've got the three breather pipes from the front axle, the transfer box and the gearbox we pass them up the snorkel and securely cable tie them on there to make sure that they're out of the way and they're protected by that, that, that raised air intake. We trim them off in a curved formation to prevent any water entering them and we're ready to wade.